Okay, here we are. Welcome beautiful sisters and welcome to our closing circle and our releasing ceremony. December 2021 in the Feminine Rising has been dedicated to ending the year with no regrets and forming a healthy outlook for the new year coming. So for us in the present, we have been focusing on closing 2021 and welcoming in 2022. But everything that we have shared together this month in our live videos, I did purposefully so we can use it again and again anytime if you are ready to start a new chapter, if you are finishing um, a cycle, or if you are ready or feeling the need to release old patterns again and again. So over the last four weeks, we have spoken about a few topics that prepare us to step into the new year, our new chapter, from a place of readiness, understanding what we want and what we don't want, the stuff that we don't want to carry around with us anymore and the stuff that we want to let go of. So we've talked about releasing regrets and detaching from outcomes. We've done our self-reflection questions, which I hope that you've got with you tonight. Um, we've celebrated our wins. We've shared in a guided meditation and connected to our future selves. And tonight we finish with our women's circle taking part in sacred ceremony. So I'm looking forward to tonight. The, the year is ending and it's an event that we see coming without fail. Like the, the, the end of a year comes every 12 months. And we usually, because we know it's coming, we can prepare in some way and plan things around it. So most of us, we think about what our new year's resolutions are gonna be. We maybe think about and reminisce on the things that we did that didn't quite work for us, whether it was business relationships or anything like that. We, we think about the things that did work for us, the things that helped us create new goals. And we really think about what our desires are for the year coming. Sometimes life transitions can happen unexpectedly. So closing a year is something that we can see coming, but I want this video and the four videos that come with the December kind of package to be timeless. So sometimes life trans transitions can be completely unexpected and you can use these videos whenever you feel that you need guidance or support during a change or a transition. Sometimes transitions can be really exciting. Sometimes they can be super, super stressful. They can be big or small, planned or unplanned. And like I know for me that even hitting milestones throughout the year has been like a transition because it creates a whole new path for you to, to go down and navigate. So it's really important, I find, to, to take care of ourselves when we are moving through a life transition. Practicing self-compassion and checking our self-talk is going to help us really cope with moving from one thing to the next. And the reality is we aren't always going to be able to navigate life transi transitions perfectly. That, that's just an impossible thing to try and cling to. But being kind to yourself is definitely going to help with this. I think also setting reasonable expectations is important. If we, because I, like, I mean, I've done this in the past. If we create unrealistic expectations for ourselves, then we just feel frustrated and stressed and most likely end up being disappointed rather than feeling excited and, you know, finding your, following your intuition and your motivation. It becomes the other end. So expecting that our transitions aren't just going to be a breeze can help soften the blow for us in the long run. Not saying we shouldn't have great goals, but it's the expectation of the outcome. And that's what we spoke about in week one of our chats is, you know, disconnecting to the outcome of things. So it's completely normal to be stressed around this time of year. It's completely normal to feel stressed when you are going through a transition or a closing of a chapter, especially if it's one that wasn't planned and wasn't in your plans. But remember that contrast is everything and you've got your community here and you've got your sisterhood here. So if you are struggling in this time or whenever you watch this video, then I want you to please post in the group and you will get the support that you are desiring. And because we are having a burning ceremony and a releasing ceremony as part of our circle, um, make sure you got your papers handy. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I'm talking about these papers, because you've missed the videos from early December, we did some journaling um, in week two 
our video exercise where we did 10 questions. Five questions were regarding what we were ready to release and five questions were based on our celebrations. So I've ripped my, my page in half and the five questions that are dedicated to releasing and letting go are the ones we're gonna burn. The five questions that were about celebrating ourselves, I want you guys to keep and put somewhere where you can read it quite often and just remember how amazing you are and all the great things you did achieve this year. If you haven't watched that video and you haven't written anything out, that's totally fine too. If you're watching the replay, you can either go back and find the video and or pause this and just write the things that you're ready to release, the things that you, um, the limiting beliefs that have maybe been holding you back. If you want to actually do the video where we did the 10 questions, then go to the topics tab in the Feminine Rising Facebook group and search hashtag December 2021 and it's week two writing exercise. So if you're on this call with me right now and you haven't written anything, grab a pen and paper, start to write down your regrets, the things you want to let go of, maybe unhealthy attachments, um, unhealthy patterns, toxic things that you just keep saying to yourself. And I want you to be really real with yourself when you do this writing, whether it's with me now or in the future, no one else is going to read it. So do your best not to filter yourself or to judge yourself. When we do this kind of writing, it's an opportunity to really speak from your heart and let your soul be vulnerable and admit to yourself your darkest truth. So it's an opportunity for us to purge as well. Like that's what the whole burning ritual is, is really taking these things out of our mind, putting it on paper and giving it the action of releasing it into the world. So you're going to need a lighter or a match, whatever you got, and somewhere safe to burn paper. So I'm leaving common sense up to everyone here. Don't burn anything inside if you haven't got windows open or it's not safe to do so. You can go outside. If burning is just not at all available to you, that's okay too. You can always rip up your papers and sit them in um, like a bowl of water. And it will work the same because, you know, the words will dissolve, the paper will dissolve, and then you can throw it away and do it like that. So I'm going to give uh, a few minutes now for the people who haven't written their letter. For the women who have done their questions, take this extra time to add to your letter. Maybe there's more things that have come to the surface since you first watched that live video with me that you would like to add. Any extra things that you are ready to let go of. Maybe certain, yeah, I, I mean, like for me right now, the end of 2021, there's feelings of still such uncertainty and disconnect and pain that is coming from the collective in the world that I'm going to add to my list to just help to shift and release that energy from my body leading into Christmas. I want to be in my happiness. I want to be in my joy when I'm around my family. So I'm going to put on a song that's just going to go for three minutes. And this is your chance to do your writing.
Okay. So if you are watching the replay and you need more time, feel free to pause and take as much time as you need. So we're going to take a few moments in stillness to, to drop into our ritual space now. So I invite you to close down your eyes, getting yourself comfortable just for a few moments. Feeling the rise and fall of your shoulders as you breathe, of your stomach. Feel yourself grounding into this present moment. And I want to call in our animal archetypes and our earth energies to open and create this ritual space. And to the winds of the south, mighty serpent, we welcome you in this space to wrap your spirals of light around us, to help us release what is weighing us down, what is no longer serving us. Like you shed your skin, may we shed our limiting beliefs. Guide us to connect with our soil, our land, and may our hearts beat as one and show us the way. To the winds of the west, royal feline, prowling around us, please protect our sacred space so we are safe to express our vulnerabilities and meet our deepest truths. We want to share your courage, your wisdom and your power. Teach us how to move through our own shadows and into the light with patience and grace. To the winds of the north, ancient kookaburra and our ancestors, Fly into our sacred space and let us connect with the beating of your wings. Share your ancient knowledge and energies with us. We honour all who have come before us and who will still come. Please help guide our way with honour, integrity, magic and laughter. Into the winds of the east, great eagle, glide into our sacred space from a place of the rising sun. Show us the view from high in the sky the impossible heights we would otherwise not reach. Under your wings, we sit comfortably and teach us to soar alongside the great spirits, moving from heavy to light of heart. Pachamama, Mother Earth, we give thanks for our bodies, our breath and our beating hearts. We thank you for always providing for us. There is never a moment that you are not giving. For the rain, the wind, the snow and the ocean, you are the ultimate creator. We strive to be like you, unconditional in our love and generous in your offerings. And Father, Son, Grandmother, Moon, always shining and glowing for us, warming our skin and cleansing our energies. Father, Son, you can be fierce and you can save. And may we embody the same qualities. Grandmother, Moon, we like you are cyclical. And may we remember and honour the cycles in our lives as we honour yours. Take a deep breath in and release out through your mouth, feeling weights being lifted. So with the protection of our earth energies and our archetype animals, we, we open our ritual space. And there is so much weight and, and heaviness that we carry with us on a daily basis. The weight of past relationships, betrayals and pains inflicted by others and ourselves. And the process of letting it all go, moving forward and healing old wounds, it's not an easy thing to do, but it is available to all of us. If there was like an easy fix it guide, a one to five steps of letting it go and forgiving, then I would be all over that. But that shit doesn't exist, unfortunately. So instead, what I'm going to do is to guide you through a ritual of letting go and to share words of light to help dissolve some of the darkness that you may be carrying and to make more room in you for light and love. 
So I've shared a lot in our group about my experiences and little stories here and there about my personal journey. I've shared about certain patterns and conditionings and fantasies that I have that just have not been realistic and that I've need to release. And, and just how much toxicity is present in our lives and how easy it is to be blinded by our fears and by our self-doubts. So more importantly is how holding on to these things keeps us from truly showing up in the world, from being present and living in our full power. So some of our dreams are good. They're even great. They keep us hopeful. They keep us aspiring to new things. They keep us vision orientated. But other dreams of ours can become stale and they can become heavy. They can keep us stuck. They can keep us stuck in the past, stuck in bad relationships, stuck in situations that cause us to be disrespected or inhibit us from fully stepping into our worth. And as a result, sometimes a wake needs to be held, right? Like a, a visual where we mourn the dreams and the fantasies that are no more. So this is where we can write letters to help us release our past relationships, our ideals and beliefs that truly don't serve us the ones that we know like in our soul but in reality and logically it can be hard to come to terms with so if you are feeling resistance here at all when you are writing these things down finding resistance of not being able to really write the true things that you want to release that is normal our past no matter how heavy it is how painful it is we can find comfort in this the, the unknown of what comes next, once we no longer have our, our stories to cling to, that can be really frightening and it can be uncomfortable. But if you, if you were compelled to write it down, then deep down, you are actually ready to release it. So you can find comfort in knowing that when your hand, when you allow your mind to kind of shut off and you let your hand just take over, it's going to write the things that your subconscious knows it's ready to release. So we are coming into our burning ceremony now. So whatever you have available to you, I need to open up the windows in my office. <laughs> the smoke alarm will probably go off. And remember, you don't have to do it right here, right now. If you're watching this video and you're not in a place where you can safely burn anything, remember you can roll up your paper and put it in a bottle of water so it can dissolve or rip it up and stick it in a cup or a bowl of water. I've got my old, my shell here that I can burn stuff in. But you're going to take your paper. And whatever, however you're doing it, I'm going to roll mine up. Really feel into the actions that you are taking here by doing this. And as these pages break down and they turn to ash, let go, allow this ritual to make room in your life for new possibilities. Feel here that your worries, your regrets, your baggage, it is being released into the universe through this sacred ritual and this process. Being taken off your shoulders, out of your heart, flushed from your mind, you can feel yourself become lighter and it's gone. If you, if you are doing this ceremony and it becomes a very emotional process for you, then let your emotions come. Let tears flow, let anger build. Whatever emotion might be surfacing for you when you do this ceremony, it is worthy and it is valid and it deserves space and acknowledgement. Some things are really, really heavy and they need to be mourned. 
other things can be bittersweet. So the beauty of this method is that you don't need to forgive or, or forget. What you have to do is accept. Forgetting is impossible and genuine forgiveness takes a lot of time. But accepting is you saying that I am ready to let go of this shit that's had a hold on me and I accept the situation and I choose to no longer be triggered. It is a powerful process. So take your time doing your burning. Maybe you've got a whole friggin' journal that you are wanting to burn. <laughs> take your time and, and really even watch the flames or watch your paper dissolve in the water and, and feel within your body that you are making the shift here. You are changing those patterns. You are energetically removing these weights these shackles from your body, from your mind, from your heart, from your soul, wherever these things come from. Mine burnt so quickly. I just wanted to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so once we have done our little burning ceremony, our ritual, whatever that means for you, however long that took for you, if you need to pause this video and keep going when you're watching the replay, then do that. Make a full moment out of it. But to finish and to really help move that stuck toxic energy from our body and to start calling in more happiness and more joy, we're going to have a few minutes of dance activation. So I'm going to play a song. And we are going to dance. We are going to express ourselves and we are going to celebrate ourselves. Because now that we have burnt our pages, we have released and we have let go. It's time to call in our new desires for our new chapter and to celebrate our continued strength and our curiosity and our courage to keep exploring our bodies and our life. So whilst you move your body to this song, breathe deeply. Let your body guide you. Try not to be in your head, sink into your body. And it's not about what you look like. It's about surrendering to how your body feels it needs to be expressed in this moment. So you can close your eyes, you can dream, manifest, set goals, intentions, all the beauty and aliveness that you want to call in for your future. You can think about the relationships you want to form, the jobs you want to do, the abundance you want to call in, the pleasure you want to cultivate. Without putting any limits on yourself, visualize the big things, the great things, the outrageous things and smile as you do this and jump around filling your body with happiness and excitement and joy. So here I'm going to play our song. We're going to get our boogie on. Around, we can boogie together. <laughs> Get silly, lady. 
crazy, get wild, express yourself. Tiny little office doesn't have that much room. <sighs> well, I hope that you are feeling as pumped up as I am, feeling all happy or connected. Feel all of that energy moving through your body. You are alive, you are amazing, you are whole, you are present, and you are connected. Now, I want to gift and honor you ladies with a meditation and a Reiki distance healing. So Reiki is a un it's universal life force energy. It transcends time and space. So whenever you watch this recording, the Reiki energy healing is still going to be active, flowing and working through you. If you haven't had Reiki before, that's how it works. It does not believe in time or space. It will just always work whenever you watch the video. So catch your breath. I'll catch my breath. Have a drink of water. And find yourself in a comfortable position. Lay on down or sit tall, wherever you want to be, and then close down your eyes. And you will still be buzzing from our dance activation. So it's not like we need to go to sleep right now or fully get into like a deep meditative state, but we are just feeling that higher energy that we have called in since we did our burning ritual. So you can lay down with a smile on your face. You can still feel your heart beating. Maybe you got a bit hot there. The tingles are running through your body. Start to focus on your breath again and the rise and fall of your stomach. <clears throat> And feeling every sensation within your breath. Each breath centers your body and seeking, sinking deeper and deeper into your beautiful presence, your inner stillness and your peace. feeling the subtle vibrations that are covering your body and filling your body from your dance. And remember your divine nature and your true essence, that you are love, you are peace, you are powerful, divine and free. And you came to this earth with a light to shine. And it's really time to let that happen. Always remember that you are divine, a divine entity. And you are guided and protected by the goddess power that is within you. 
going to speak some declarations now and I want you to feel these deep in your body. And you might even want to say them back out loud to yourself. The divine always helps me to thrive in life. I am powerful and all strengths are within me. I am the creator of my destiny. What I desire comes to me. What I feel attracts me. What I think happens to me. What I visualize unfolds to me. The universe always returns what I want. And I am grateful for living the life of my dreams. With those words being said, take a deep breath in, visualizing your thing, your person or your situation that you wanna manifest into your reality after this chapter. And then breathe out, believing, truly believing that you will receive that soon. Again, inhale and visualize that same thing in detail, as clearly as you possibly can. Breathe out, believing that it is coming for you soon. Now on your next inhale, I want you to keep that image in your mind and cultivate the feeling of receiving it. Visualize yourself celebrating the success of receiving your desired thing or person or outcome. Breathing in and out, believing that it's coming. And imagine what changes happen in your life after your dreams come true. It's okay if your vision isn't clear right now. Believe in yourself and the universe that your dreams will become your reality. The universe is so kind that it would always give us more than we deserve. And remember that you are protected and powered by the divine universe. And all your wishes will be taken care of. visualize that the universe has already fulfilled our desires and we want to express deep gratitude towards the universe by saying I am grateful for having such an amazing life the universe has always been kind to me thankful for receiving desired things or people or outcomes. And bringing your focus back to your breath, moving your awareness into your heart, and truly feeling what it's like to be in your body once you've reached that goal, achieved that outcome, formed that relationship, received that abundance. And from this feeling, I'm going to start the Reiki energy healing. So you can 
and visualize that this universal energy is flowing through your body from the crown of your head down your spine to your tailbone. Making its way through each of your seven chakras. Helping to balance, unblock and align Reiki energy knows exactly where it needs to move in your body. If there are ailments, diseases, injuries, the universal energy knows where to go and what to do. So trusting feeling the sensations in your body opening your heart and your mind to this healing with full trust and complete surrender You may feel the energy moving through you. You might feel tingles, warmth, vibrations, pulsing. And if there is a part of your body that you require specific healing for, then I do invite you to place your hand on that part of your body or if that's not accessible you can just take your attention to that part of your body and feel the energy moving from the outside of you through your palms and into that place where you need healing is always available to share this healing magic with you. Anytime you are feeling disconnected, out of balance, confused or fearful, you can always call on Pachimama, Mother Earth's energy and force and power to move through you. Always available and never running low. Breathing deeply into your body.
releasing expectations or criticisms, skepticism or judgment for your experience. Open and receptive, you are taking all of the healing energy and even if you are feeling completely well at this point in time, know that the energy is still coursing through your veins, replenishing your cells, balancing your chakras, your emotions, your energies. Purifying. getting heavier and you are becoming more and more relaxed, more grounded, supported by the earth, of a memory if emotions might be bubbling to the surface then this is the energy doing its work also bringing to your attention some things that maybe were pushed down deep repressed and swept under the rug lay your hands on the part of your body that aches and allow your to flow freely. This powerful energy is pushing out the toxicity from your body. Know that it's normal and it's part of the process. Just remember to breathe and remember again of your intentions for your next chapter, the things that you are most excited about, the desires that you are so ready to live alongside. Celebrate yourself for having the strength and the courage to even release in ceremony these things that have been heavy on your heart. That you are taking action and you are doing the work. that you truly desire.
universal life force energy that is flowing through your body is going to continue moving through you for as long as you stay conscious with it. Whether you watched this during the day or at night, keep it close to you, feeling the healing that is still taking place, the power that is forming within you, the balancing and alignment that is cultivating around each of your chakras and your own energy centers. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out through your mouth. again from the south the mighty serpent that came in and surrounded us with light and from the west the royal feline that was protecting us from the outskirts from the north the ancient kookaburra who was connecting us to the beat of his wings to the beat of the earth to the beat of our hearts and from the east the great eagle that has always got us under their wings we thank Pachimama, Father Sun, Grandmother Moon for always, always showing up for us and holding space. So bringing your hands to prayer, my sisters, wherever you feel comfortable. My soul recognizes your soul. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty and kindness within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, there is no distance and no difference between us. We are the same, we are united, and we are one. Namaste. So make sure that you have a big drink of water, that you keep honoring yourself after this session whenever you were listening to it, whatever time of day, wherever you are. Take time to practice self-compassion for the processing that might come for you after you've done those releases. Be real with yourself and if you need support or advice or assistance of any kind, you can reach out to me privately or in the Facebook group and this has been our last live of the year and the Feminine Rising is turning into a paid membership as of 1st of January 2022 so that's really exciting. We've got new courses coming out and lots of new content there so I can't wait to share all of that with you as well. So thank you again beautiful sisters and namaste.